Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are well. So today's video is going to be how to get this nice bronzy shadow with bold red lipstick look that was inspired by Kylie Jenner when she posted her photo about months ago, a couple months ago, and I'm still in love with the look. So I want to show you guys how I got this super simple and pretty look using all drugstore products. So right now I'm using the eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown from e.l.f. And I'm also going to take this NYX eyebrow gel in the color Brunette. And I'm going to use that to fill in the sparse areas that I missed with the brow pencil. Now I'm taking this LA Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm using this to outline and clean up my brows. Now I'm taking this flat brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to use that to blend out everything. And I am using 100% drugstore products, so they're all inexpensive, even down to the brushes that I used. I just wanted to make sure that everything that I used was super attainable and super inexpensive. I know it looks like I'm not wearing any clothes, but I promise you I am. As you can see, I do have on an off the shoulder shirt. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> so anyways, um, now I am going to take a double ended brush from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna take this eyebrow powder from e.l.f. And I'm going to fill in the areas where I missed with the gel as well as the pencil. This is really an optional step. It's just to make sure that the brows are kind of close to being perfect or symmetrical. I feel like the powder really helps. Okay, so now I'm just adding my favorite drugstore primer, which is the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer. I'm putting that all over my face, and I'm making sure that I concentrate a lot of that in my nose and in my T-zone area, just to ensure that it controls my oil. Another thing that I like to do with the remaining primer that's left on my fingers is just place that on my neck and on my chest area just to give a little bit of a glow to that area and now I'm taking this LA Colors concealer this is in the shade orange this is just going to act as a color corrector obviously to hide my blemishes now I'm just taking this elf kabuki brush and I'm going to blend in that color corrector okay so now I'm just gonna take this LA girl pro eyeshadow primer and I'm going to place that on both of my eyelids and I'm going to use the same brush that I used to blend out my concealer from elf and I'm gonna blend that out if you're wondering what's on my lips it is a lip plumper I actually purchased this one from Aliexpress I have a whole video where I'm talking about this and a few other things. I'm gonna link that down below so that you guys can check it out. 
I really do go into depth and I talk about how good this plumper is and it really does work. You're going to see that I'm going to take it off pretty soon because it actually works right away. Okay, so now I'm taking this Black Radiance eyeshadow trio and I'm just using a skin toned eyeshadow just to set that primer and to bring some of the whiteness down to kind of match my skin tone and to also help to set that eyeshadow primer. Okay, so now I'm taking this e.l.f. matte eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use that orange-like shade to just act as a transition color. Ugh, I feel like I can never say that word right. But yeah, I'm taking this e.l.f. blending brush as well and I'm just sweeping that back and forth, focusing mainly on the crease area. Okay, so now I'm taking this dark brown color from my Holy Grail Carly Bible palette. I absolutely love this palette. Oh my gosh, the colors are so blendable and they look so good on every skin tone. They're so universal and it has shadows and highlighters as well, so you can't go wrong and it was really inexpensive. So, y'all, yeah. I'm going to take this bronzy color here and I'm going to put it right on my lid. And yeah, just gonna pack that shit on. Just packing it on. I like I said, I really love this palette. It's so beautiful. Unfortunately, my camera died, so I'm just gonna have to explain to you what I did. First, I took this e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow and I put it on my lid, focusing it only on my lid and blending it out. Then I took this e.l.f. tinted moisturizer as well as the e.l.f mineral powder pearls and I placed them all over my face. So now I'm just highlighting with the e.l.f. HD concealer and I'm blending it out using this stick beauty blender. Okay, so now I'm taking this LA Colors Contour Palette and I'm using the shade that's comparable to the banana powder and I'm using that to set under my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin. Basically all the areas that I highlighted using the concealer. So I'm going to take this angled elf brush and I was originally going to use just the powder but I wanted to have a more dramatic contoured look so I'm using the LA Pro concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa and I'm using this as my contour shade. So now I'm just 
highlighting my nose area again using the same concealer that I fixed my eyebrows with just to give it a sharper highlight and contour on my nose. Now I'm going back into that LA Colors Contour Palette and I'm using those two darkest shades just to set that contour that I already placed using the concealer. So now I'm taking this Milani blush and this e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I'm placing that blush on the apples of my cheeks going in an upward motion. I love this blush, it's so pretty and it comes packaged so beautiful. Okay, so in the photo that I was referring to, I noticed that Kylie did not have a super defined wing. She actually used the darkest shadow from her bronze palette. So I'm using the e.l.f. matte palette again and I'm taking the darkest shade there and I'm just using this liner brush to kind of create a smoked out wing using the darkest shadow. This part doesn't have to be too precise because it is going to be a smoky look and you kind of want to give it that effortless look rather than have a super sharp wing. I'm using these super inexpensive AliExpress lashes. I wanted to show you them and then while I was letting the glue get tacky on them, I decided to put my eyelash primer on. I'm using the one from e.l.f. I love it so much and I love using it on my bottom lashes because there is no mascara transfer when I use this primer. Okay, so now I am putting on those lashes. Like I said, they were so inexpensive. I paid like a dollar for each pair and it comes in a really good packaging that's super sturdy and it looks as if you paid $30 for them but you paid 29 times less. So I recommend them, I'll have them linked for you and I have a video on them as well. Now I'm using my all-time favorite drugstore mascara. I use this mascara all the time, lashes or not. It's the NYC Big Curl Lash Mascara and it's wonderful. It's only $4 so I recommend you go out and purchase that one. Okay, so now I'm taking the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which is everyone's favorite right here on the YT, but for me, uh, I think it's okay. It's like okay as a layering or like a finishing mascara for me, but like I said, my NYC, less expensive and does a better job, I think, for my lashes personally. Okay, so now I'm taking the Carly Bible palette again and I'm taking a light gold shade and I'm placing it on my brow bone to highlight my eyes. Now going back into that same palette I am taking all three luminizers and I'm using it to highlight my cheekbones, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and above my lips. I love this palette. Oh my gosh, look at how much glow it's giving me. And by the way, this fan brush is from e.l.f. It was only 
like six dollars so like i said all the tools all the products all drugstore okay so now i'm taking this elf highlighter and i'm applying this on top of where i applied the carly bible highlight Okay, so to add a little bit more glow to my face, I'm taking this e.l.f. blush in the shade Gotta Glow and I'm placing that on top of that highlighter from Carly Bible. Okay, now I'm setting everything with the e.l.f. mist and set. Okay, so now I'm taking this e.l.f. lip stain and I'm using this as a lip primer because the color really does absorb into my lips. And I feel like it's going to help the lipstick last longer and also add some vibrancy. I'm really placing this product all over my lip because I do want to create the perfect texture so that the lipstick does stick to this product here and last all day. Okay, so now I'm using this red NYX liner and I'm placing it all over my lips as well, like I said. The lip liner is going to help make the lipstick last longer. I'm just blending that all out using a lip brush from e.l.f. And lastly, I'm going to apply this Rimmel London lipstick in the shade Red. So you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope you enjoyed all the products that I used. Like I said, I'm going to link everything down below so that you can find it. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment below and let me know anything that you would like to. And please subscribe to see more videos of me. Thank you so much for watching. Sending so much love your way. Bye!